When you run a BigQuery query, you are charged for the amount of data processed in the query. It's common to create a subset of a table to do analysis on in order to save money. Let's see how to do that. In an earlier video, we created this table called Super Bowls. Now let's say we want to do some analysis, but only on the Super Bowls that the Steelers played in. So let's go to Super Bowls and hit Query Table. And I've already prepped the query that we're going to run. So let's paste that in. So notice we're going to select all the fields from the Super Bowls table where the winning team is the Steelers or the losing team is the Steelers. So this will give us all the, the games that the Steelers played in. Now, I can run the query, and that'll show me the results down here. But what I want to do is take the results of this query and save it to another table. So to do that, let's click on the More button and go to Query Settings. And then we're going to create a destination table. So let's click here, set the destination table for query results. We'll put it in our sports data set, and then we'll name this table Steelers Super Bowls. Click Save, and then click Run, and then we should see our Steelers Super Bowls table shows up right here. Anyway, that's how easy it is to create a table from another query in BigQuery. This is Doug Renstrom with ROI Training.